Um, leading up to this game, we uh, we did a lot of work on set pieces, and our coaching staff did a great job, kind of you know seeing the the faults they have um, in in giving up set pieces as well as defending them. Um, so we've we've been practicing practicing them in the week of training prior, so we knew that we could you know possibly get one on them. Um, we had a, a good opportunity from the set piece. Uh, Hector whipping a good ball, and we're just preaching that we got to be dogs in there and just you know hunt and find it. And you know got a flick and got that or got that equalizer at the time. Thank you for that. We'll open it up to questions. Uh, Victor, go ahead. <clears throat> all right, Tate. First of all, congratulations. Um, you said you, you guys were practicing set pieces uh, at, at any time in training. Had you connected with with Hector that way? Um, something you could elaborate maybe on on that goal? Um, it was not so much just the connection, but more so just the timing of it all. Uh, working on the the delivery, knowing our spots, um, guys being decoys in areas, guys falling into certain areas, and just knowing that you know if, if collectively if we can be training them well and, and and scoring goals and training that we can do it in the game. And I feel like that's what we did prior, and we got that opportunity today. Obviously, a, a tough result to take in, in the first game, but just what takeaways do you guys, uh, the players, take from, from this first performance? Um, honestly, I think the performance, you know, uh, going down on the road is never easy, but finding that equalizer it shows the grit that we can come from behind and, and tie it up. But then it's just the, the little mistakes that we kind of gave at times to then get them the opportunities. But then also just looking at the positives of the chances that we did create, uh, the amount of pos uh, possession that we sustained in the second half, uh, as well as the, the second part of the first half. Um, and just, you know, the, the will to just keep going and, you know, the season's long, you know, I think if we continue putting out the performances that we did today, we're going to be in a good spot come the end of the year. So I think we just look at, you know, the performance at hand today and, and realize we got an, uh, another opportunity next week. And, and the good uh, amount of the, the Houston fans making a trip up to Cincinnati, wondering if you guys noticed them and, and what is, does that give you guys a plus? What, what effect does that have on your team? So many, uh, <laughs> orange up there yeah it's it's always nice especially when you look up in the crowd and you see you know a whole wall of the the opposing team's fans but then you see the little section that's you know comprised of your own fans cheering you on it means a ton you know it kind of feels like you have some family in the house and and that's the support that we're going to need all year to just give us that extra boost of energy especially when the, the moments at the end of the game are tough so we, we appreciate it so much and it means a lot to have them out there especially you know in games like this We'll take it to Jesus Acevedo from the Bayou City Union. Jesus, go ahead. Hey, Tay, um, congratulations on the game and the goal. Could you have imagined when the Dynamo signed you that you will be playing the first game of the season and then on top of that scoring the first goal for the club this season? Um, I mean, it's always in the back of your head and, and you, you dream about it, but the big thing was obviously just putting a good defensive performance and, you know, those opportunities will always come, so you just, you know, work hard to maybe get the opportunity but um you know coming in I obviously wanted to be a starter for this team contribute contribute you know when I get the opportunity but I think it's just the the collective work that we've been putting in, in training that's going to keep us going all year so I'm just fortunate to be a part of this group uh during the game as, as I was watching on uh, Apple TV Apple TV labeled you as a forward clearly you were playing left left back today was the, that kind of seeped into you when you saw the the ball yeah, I mean, I played attacking position my whole life in the past, you know, four years after coming to the MLS and then transitioning back into the outside back, outside wing back role. So, you know, it's you're, you're when you're a soccer player, you love to score goals. So it's just part of playing the game. And, you know, I, I take pride in my effort of always going forward. So I'm proud I got the opportunity to, to get one for the team. And the last uh, question for me is, what what positive do you take uh, uh, on a team aspect? Uh, you know, the team, there were some good chances that you guys put together. There was a, a, a good ball movement. What's the positives you take going forward? I think it's just the will from the team to not quit. You know, it's once again tough, you know, going down in an environment where there's, you know, 20,000-plus 20, 20, fans, you know, screaming for the other team. And and the way that we, I think, after we gave that first goal up is, is you know, kept our heads, kept working hard, kept possession, and and we found a lot of good opportunities that were kind of, you know, knocking on the door saying, hey, we're, we're, we're trying to trying to get another one. And I think, you know, long-term, that's going to be huge for us is, you know, away games are always going to be tough. And, and if you can just keep, you know, 
having that will to keep going and 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 keeping possession, making it tough for teams, and especially in a whole ninety minute game, it's it's taxing. So I think you know that we can look at that positive and just just realize that you know the ball didn't fall the right way today for us. And is if we keep putting out the performance that we did today, we're going to be getting results. Thank you so much, Tate. Yeah, thank you. We'll wrap it up with that one. Thank you so much, Tate. Safe travels back to Houston. Appreciate it.